Welcome to Reality School. In this video, we'll go over how to fix a bug where a duplicate model is placed in the scene. Before we get started, this is the hardware and software used in this video. If you are using anything older or newer, you might have to make some adjustments to your code. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we fix the bug, let's run the app to see what is happening. When we place a model in the scene and use a translation gesture to move it to a different location, we see that there is a duplicate model at the initial placement location. This bug was introduced in episode 18 which focused on persisting AR content across sessions. Let's fix it. Navigate to arviewcontainer.swift and scroll down to the update scene method. In the if statement where we assign the anchor to a constant, we'll remove the line where we add the anchor to the AR session. If the anchor is being loaded from a persisted scene, the anchor has already been added to the session. I made a mistake by adding it again. We will also remove the line where we add the model to the recently placed array. Since we are restoring the scene from file, it doesn't make a lot of sense to list the models as recently placed in browse view. Next, we'll navigate to modelsViewModel.swift to add a helper method. Below our fetch data method, create a new function called clear model entities from memory. This method won't take any parameters and the return type is void. We'll use a for in loop to iterate through the models array. For each model, set the model entity property to nil. With this line of code, we are essentially clearing the model entities from memory. You might wonder why we need this functionality. I'll explain that in the next step. Navigate to arviewcontainer.swift and scroll down to the handle persistence method. In the else if statement below our guard statement, we'll call the clear model entities from memory method we just created. We are calling this method here because when we load a scene from file, we want to clear all model entities from memory and start fresh. We will also move the line where we call remove all on anchor entities above our call to load scene. And finally, we'll scroll down to the session did add anchors method. We only want to run the model.async load model entity when anchors are being loaded from a persisted scene. Because of our clear model entities from memory method, model entities will be nil when loading a scene from file. Model entity will not be nil when the user selects a model for placement. We were initially getting a duplicate model in our scene because when the user placed an object, it was appended twice to the model's confirmed for placement array. One time in this async load model entity block and one time in the confirm placement button action. When the user selects a model for placement, we will now only append the model once in the confirm placement button action. Let's run the app to make sure our bug has been fixed. When we place a model in the scene and move it to a different location, we see that there is no other duplicate model in the scene. Our bug is fixed. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and until the next time.